and welcome once again to another edition of the Red, Brown & Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, all I can say is the year is almost gone. It is. We're going into fall and we're going to cross our fingers for a good fall after kind of a wet, really hot summer. I know, and it seems like this, this year has gone by so fast. We'll mm -hmm. do a show and it's like... Oh, it snowed, and then it's <laughs> we've got all the rain, and now it's like you're looking at the end of 2015. I know. I can't believe it. It's crazy. And what I'm hearing, I'm not real happy about. Are you also <laughs> hearing that we could be looking at a bad winter? I am. I think the Farmer's Almanac is not predicting us to have a, a very fun winter. And, and I saw yesterday we were talking about some things, and somebody said the trees were really, really full this year. And they said, you know, that's a sign of a bad winter. So we've got several indicators of, uh-oh. Yeah, here it comes again for the <laughs> second year in a row. We'll keep our fingers crossed that doesn't happen. <laughs> right. But from a real estate perspective, mm -hmm. now's the time to start looking. Absolutely. If it's going to be a rough one and you're ready to move, now is the time to do it. Well, let's show them five properties today that, that may tickle their fancy. Let's do it. <laughs> the first one I want to talk about is mm -hmm. right here close to where we're filming today on Peach Orchard in Pikeville. And this is a new listing for you. It is. This is a new one. And like you said, it's on Peach Orchard. This is literally the last house on Peach Orchard. So you're at the very top of the hill, which comes with a nice view of Pikeville. You can mm -hmm. see over into town. It's extremely convenient to the college, like you said, to the radio, TV station. You've got everything right here. And one thing that if you've ever driven up this road mm -hmm. uh, to the top of the mountain in Pikeville, you think there's no yard space, there's not anything. Well, you've not seen this house because you have no idea until you get out there how much space this property has. Exactly. This property has more space than you would ever dream. You've got a fenced in yard. You have plenty of parking. You have a detached garage. And then this one also comes with a one bedroom apartment. Well, that right there should throw dollar signs up to people because it's not very often you can buy a home and also have some income. Exactly. With that and exactly. with the university, mm -hmm. with everything that we've got close to the hospital and all of that, this would be a very attractive apartment for someone. Absolutely. Anytime you can pay part of your mortgage by having a renter close, plus it's a little bit extra security, I mean, there's, mm -hmm. there's no downside to that. But one thing that, and I've driven out and seen this home before, mm -hmm. is I know they have done a lot of work to it recently. Yes, yes. This house has had a lot of work done to it. It's got tile and hardwood flooring throughout. The kitchen's completely updated with new cabinets, appliances, all that kind of stuff. Um, you've got new bathrooms. You've got, uh, like I said, the new flooring. You've got a new metal roof. So a lot of the systems have really been taken care of and the house is, you know, moving ready over 2,000 square feet, so this mm -hmm. is not a small home. It's not a small house at all. You have a lot of space in this house. It's got a little bit of a contemporary layout, but all of your bedrooms are on one floor with a full bathroom, and then you've got a full bathroom uh, on the lower floor as well with the living room, kitchen, and kind of a sunroom office type of space. And I want to go back to one thing you mentioned quickly when you were talking about the description of this home is mm -hmm. fenced in yard. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Something else that you would not imagine that you were going to see in downtown Pikeville. Right, and it's not a fenced-in hillside yard, which you might kind of think uh -huh. that it might be. It's actually a flat, usable yard. Okay, so this is definitely one people want to look at. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, so give, and I'm assuming this is your listing. This is my listing. So give Jennifer a call, uh, the number at the Pikeville office. 606-437-2333. And that MLS number is 105 Eight four one. That'll tell when you tell them when you call. That'll get you directly to this house and get you to a visit that much quicker. Absolutely. And on this one, I want to make sure to mention the price because they price this one fairly smart, and it's priced at one forty five, which is a great deal for this property downtown. So everything we just told you for under a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Absolutely, it's a good I'd deal. I'd say your phones are already ringing. I hope so. <laughs> Now, let's stay in downtown Pikeville okay. and move on to Blair Street. Now, we've mentioned this one before. and We have. I actually love this listing. It's at Blair Street off of Town Mountain Road, and we've talked about it before because it's got acreage in downtown Pikeville, which is also kind of a weird commodity. <laughs> yeah, you thought us saying a fenced-in yard on Peach Orchard was was 
not very common. Well, mm -hmm. neither is eight acres inside the city of Fife. Exactly, exactly. And this one has that. This one's also a fairly contemporary style house. Mm -hmm. um, it's had some updates and that kind of stuff. But it's a four bedroom, two bath, a lot of space, a lot of very spacious closets. So this one, again, it has a lot going for it. It does, and where we're talking about is the old log cabin restaurant. Mm -hmm. This house sits almost directly behind that on the hill. Correct. And the hillside that you see behind there, that's part of that eight acres. It is, it is. But you, you actually have some usable land as well. You probably have a quarter to a half acre of yard space, parking, and then it's got extensive decking out from the side, so you have even more outdoor space to use. A lot more space than you would imagine up on the hill behind exactly. the old log cabin Exactly, exactly. This, this one and the first one are definitely ones to do drive-bys with because you really can't get an idea unless you've actually seen the property. And you can see this one from Town Mountain Road. You can. Uh -huh. You all have a sign, I think, at the bottom near the road? Absolutely. Okay. Now, I, I want to also mention for those nature lovers out there, <laughs> I heard a rumor that you kind of got spooked by a deer in I this did. yard. <laughs> in the backyard. We kind of came face to face, nose to nose, and <laughs> he won. I got scared. <laughs> well, I mean, and that's just great because nature and getting out and just being able to say, I'm in the city. Mm -hmm. but I feel like I'm in the country. Exactly. And that's exactly. what this house gives you. Absolutely. And all this one too, another one for under $200,000, $189,000 for this listing on Blair Street. Absolutely. It was actually just reduced to that one eighty nine price. So this is a motivated seller. Absolutely. That's good news for anybody looking to buy. Exactly. <laughs> and the MLS number on this one's 105273. This is also Jennifer's listing. Mm -hmm. So, Jennifer, let's go over your email address in okay. case somebody would rather email. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. Now, the next home we're going to look at is just outside of Pikeville, mm -hmm. and you can actually access this through Cedar Creek area. It's on Toller Creek. It is. It's in Toller Creek, which means it's technically in Floyd County, mm -hmm. but you're going over Toller Mountain from Right Fork Island Creek, so it's very convenient to Floyd County or very convenient to Pike County. Right, and I've driven this before, and it's such a quiet neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's just a great place to be. But like you said, convenient to not far from US 23. Not at all. You're technically in Floyd County, but mm -hmm. yet come through Island Creek, through Cedar Creek, and you're in Pikeville in just a matter of minutes, too. So you've got the best of everything. Exactly, exactly. And this one is a big house. That's the reason that I, I wanted to include it today. This house has so much space. It's about 2,800 square feet. Wow. And it's a five-bedroom home. So this has a lot of space if you've got a growing family, if you have in-laws that are moving in, if there's, mm -hmm. you know, you, didn't, you don't know people's situation, but if you're looking for a house that has a lot of space, this one is one to look at. And we were talking about a bad winter potentially coming up. I mm -hmm. see this one's got a gas fireplace. It does. It has a gas fireplace. <laughs> in my opinion, there's nothing better on a snowy day than cup of hot chocolate in front of the <laughs> fireplace where you can watch it snow. Easily look out on your backyard that's fenced. You sit on a creek and it's a really nice serene area. And then looking ahead to warmer weather, mm -hmm. it's got an above ground pool too. It does. So that's going to give you the best of every season. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Right here at this house out in the country. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then you've got the deck mm -hmm. on the outside. So sit inside, sit outside, enjoy the country, but know that you're in a home that has five bedrooms. Yes. Plenty of room for anything, whether it's a home office mm -hmm. or your family. Absolutely. And three of those bedrooms are original to the house and all sit on the first level. So, you know, again, depending on what your need is, it's a very accessible house. Right, and I see hardwood, mm -hmm. laminate flooring, so somebody has done some upgrades. Absolutely, and this one has, if you look on the pictures, the kitchen mm -hmm. in this house is absolutely gorgeous. The kitchen, they really, really did well. Um, it's got amenities in it, you know, the pot filler that sits on the stove, some of the stuff that people tend to see on HGTV but you don't see all the time around here. Uh -huh. This house has a few of those items as well. Well, I would encourage you to come and see this house on Toller Creek Two forty nine nine surprise. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, one zero five six six five is that MLS number on that home. So give Jennifer a call or mm -hmm. shoot her an email. She'll be glad to show it to you. Absolutely. Anytime. All right, now moving along uh, along uh, to Hughes Lane in Pikeville mm -hmm. is the next listing. Yes, and this one is another one that we have talked about before, mm -hmm. but um, I wanted to mention it again because they've actually changed the listing a little bit. Okay. Uh, when we first had it listed, they actually had it 
listed with the lot beside of it together. Um, they were all priced together. Right. Now they have actually separated it, and you've got the house and the lot it sits on, and then the lot is listed separately. So depending on what the need was, if you didn't want the lot, you don't have to buy it. If you're just looking for the lot, there is also the additional lot to go with it. So that lets me know the seller is really willing to work with the buyer Absolutely. as far as making sure that they get everything they need. Absolutely. So if they want them both, they can buy them a la carte. Exactly. <laughs> and I love this one because the kitchen is so much different. It's a white kitchen, mm -hmm. but it looks huge. Yes, yes. It's a nice size kitchen. And again, it's been updated. This house has had quite a few updates to it. And when they updated the kitchen, they really, really brightened the space. So it's it's a white kitchen. And you can see in the picture, it's a good space to actually work in and enjoy cooking. And this is not one of those homes that you're going to come into and it feels dark. Mm -hmm. Where you feel like, let me go open the windows. Just the light colors alone are going to make you feel. And then when you feel that way and you've got a lot of light in there, it feels larger. Exactly. Exactly. But it's still a nice size house. You've got a three bedroom house. And like I said, they have done some of the um, updates. They did new windows. They did some hardwood flooring. They updated the bathrooms and like we mentioned before, the kitchen. So. A lot of the work has been done. It's you know all personalization from here, and and all for one thirty four nine. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely one you want to look at on Hughes Lane in Pikeville. Like I said, one thirty four nine, and the MLS number on this one is one zero four five four three. Now Jennifer, mm -hmm. the Pikeville office phone number again. Let's okay. run that one by again. That number is six zero six four three seven twenty three thirty three. Okay. Now moving along, let's let's end the show back close to Pikeville. This mm -hmm. is actually technically Coal Run, uh -huh. but the whole Pikeville area is it's referred to. Yep. And this one's one we've talked about before, but one of my all time favorites. Yes. This is the house that it literally overlooks twenty three mm -hmm. in Coal Run. You have a great location. And this house has so many possibilities. It's kind of amazing. You can have commercial space, you can have office space, you can have, you know, a residential space. You have a lot of possibilities with this home. And all I have to say is over 5,300 square feet, and then you're understanding why you just said lots of possibilities. Yeah, and that 5,300 is the space that's above grade. You still have another 1,400 that is below grade that is finished. So you're pushing 7,000 square feet total. Exactly, exactly. A lot of wheels are turning right now <laughs> because you can, you can always do the home office, mm -hmm. and sometimes we will say there's an extra bedroom for a home office. Well, this one, we can. there's a whole lot more than one <laughs> extra room that you can use as your office or a commercial space. Absolutely. There's so many possibilities with this. And I see, you know, the entire driveway up the hill is concrete. It is. It is. It's everything's paved. And then when you get up there, the, the parking at the actual house, there is plenty of parking. You honestly could, I haven't measured it, but I mean, I'm talking 10, 15, possibly 20 cars could get up there. So it goes back to the commercial possibilities. Absolutely. All right, and I see that it also has a security system. It does. It has a security system. It has a two-car carport. Um, it has a surprising amount of side yard space and usable yard space if you wanted it. And then the whole back side, the, the side that actually faces 23, is levels of decking. So you have a great view and outdoor space on the back as well. So great indoor space and outdoor space also. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, the wheels are turning for all five of the listings we just <laughs> talked about. So on this one in particular, the price on it is $575,000. But remember, mm -hmm. that's a combination of commercial space and residential space. So not a bad price when you throw all of that into the mix. Absolutely. 105117 is the MLS number on that one. And let's talk about, just real quick, give your website. Okay. Because everything we've talked about and more can be found on the Red Bell Williams Red web website. <laughs> Absolutely. The website is www.rbandw.com. I think it's showing on the screen, mm -hmm. and and is always spelled out. Um, but the thing to remember about the website is they can always see our listings on there. But there's also a link to actually go on to the EKAR website, which is the local board. That will have every realtor's listings in this entire area. So you can access any listing that you want to. All right. And you can show any of those homes. Absolutely. All right. I encourage you to give Jennifer a call or shoot her an email. But I'm going to step out now because it's time for your Real Estate Minute. This week, let's focus on buyers looking for a long-term home for a family. 
Whether or not you have a family now or you're planning ahead, present or future, there are important factors to consider when purchasing. Location of master bedrooms to other bedrooms, location of a utility room to bedrooms, multiple levels, open concept or specific use rooms, fenced yard space or a pool, proximity to neighbors or busy streets and school systems. All of these items should be considered when looking at properties. When buying for the long term, make sure you consider all the possibilities. Find a home that will best function for your needs now and in the future. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Red Brown and Williams Show. We look forward to sharing more listings with you next time.